So let's talk a little bit about Pactum. 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 Pactum, Pactum AI. Pactum AI. What is Pactum AI? Negotiations are a core pillar of business. They're complex, they're time consuming. Imagine a world which will be a bit different. Major corporations like Walmart have begun using AI powered chatbots to handle their business negotiations, netting hundreds of millions in savings. This headline caught a lot of people's attention. Walmart using AI, artificial intelligence, to save time and money. Chatbots created by Pactum AI are helping the big box retailer negotiate costs and purchase terms with 2,000 vendors at the same time. Joining me right now is Martin Rand. Martin, it's great to have you. Congratulations on your business. This is uh, your time. Tell us more about this new technology and how it's impacting big business. Hey, it's great to be here. Thank you, Maria. And it's a great time to talk about how AI can grow the economy while saving jobs at the same time. So what we do is very simple. Uh, we have built AI that is negotiating supplier deals for the world's largest enterprises. And we're, we're saving uh, a hundreds of millions of dollars for these large enterprises and their suppliers. And negotiations are really something fascinating because in a negotiation, I'm incentivized to give you something that you want so you would give me back something that I want. So we both walk out of the door with more than we had previously. Now imagine a machine doing that 10,000 times over and creating growth. So that's what we do. Most of our clients are the world, like global brands, which we all know. And uh, and it's interesting to see how to set up these AI bots for these large enterprises so that uh, uh, it would be aligned with human values of uh, what the AI uh, will achieve there. Walmart uh, recently published a Harvard Business Review article where it stated that we have unlocked 3% of value on average in deals and we were successful in 64% uh, uh, of the vendor negotiations. Been with Walmart for about five and a half years. The biggest question and concern that our organization had, especially the senior leadership, what are suppliers gonna think about this, right? And I was worried about this too because you know, we're big bad Walmart, we're, gonna, we're no longer interested in talking to our suppliers, we're gonna send out a bot and just do all, all of our negotiations, right? So that was the fear. The interesting thing is that 83% of the suppliers that we pulled said that they'd actually rather negotiate with the bot than a human. <laughs> It's one thing that stuck out to me. It was, a, it was the article, How Walmart Automated Supplier Negotiations in the Harvard Business Review. Tell us a little bit about that study, if you don't mind. Because I, you know, I'm a supply chain professor, so I found it pretty interesting. So it, the technology in there is it's an AI chatbot that will over chat negotiate terms and conditions with existing suppliers of Walmart. The bot is able to target suppliers that buyers don't necessarily have sufficient time to properly negotiate with. Allowing the buyer to spend more time on the things that are most important to that business. Exactly. Perfect example of procurement augmentation um, to make the buyer more impactful and to help procurement grow the value it's generating. We closed a deal with one of the suppliers we negotiated with. So they negotiated with our bot and they, they went, hey, hold on, why aren't we using this? Mm. So now they're a customer and that's a great testament what, how AI can create growth. I just got uh, an email and so I started just kind of clicking through and it, it kind of builds and there's a narrative and it's, it's you're, you're going back and forth and clicking like sliders and having this really like two-way conversation with a very clear just kind of like AI bot. And so what I found myself doing is becoming 100% interested in what is this, who is producing it, and how do I start doing it? And so this is, uh, this is how I came across <laughs> Martin and Pactum, was really just being on the other side of it and seeing what was probably possible for Veritiv to do uh, with our supply base. I'm personally a huge fan of negotiations. A negotiation is really something special. In an auction, for instance, if you win, then I lose. But in a negotiation, I'm incentivized to give you something that you value. So you would give me back something that I value. And we walk out of the store with more than we had previously. Now, the problem with negotiations is that it takes time. So they cannot be performed on all suppliers. 
We do it with AI 10,000 times, unlocking hundreds of millions of dollars. Procurement teams have been cut down so thin that they can barely negotiate the strategic deals. We're negotiating everything else that people were not dealing with anyway. And this is what the promise of AI should be. It should bring in superhuman capabilities, but not replace people. And this is what we're doing. Essentially, uh, there are millions of combinations for good deals and a yeah. machine will find those deals much better uh, than humans. It's really, really incredible what potential it can bring for procurement specifically to grow its business contributions and to grow the courage of spend, uh, the impact on supplier relations, on business resilience. What are you getting out of this? And they said, look, this bot gives me the work that I want to do, the lanes that I want to do. So I'm getting more business, I'm getting a better deal flow, and most importantly, I'm not holding capacity on standby anymore. I had to wait until the person would come back to me uh, and solidify the deal, whereas the bot tells me right now. So it's, again, great for both sides. The feedback we got was actually really favorable. Um, it was about a 90%, 90% in the post-survey said that it was a favorable experience, which really surprised us. And a few of them, which I think this might have been a dig at us, but a few of them were saying that this was the easiest negotiation we've ever had with Veritas, um, which is like, okay, like, thanks, thank you, supplier. And it was really high, the number of suppliers in the, in the pilot yep. that, that adopted. So clearly they're seeing benefit. Rather than just having to accept the term and conditions that Walmart normally applies, there's an opportunity to discuss those and there's an opportunity to make decisions, which they previously might not have had. So that's one benefit. Number two, the technology, which is Pactum uh, that they use, allows the supplier to think, to go back into, so there's lots of flexibility in the hands of the supplier uh, to put control over the negotiation in their hands. The negotiation ends with an agreement, with a commitment, a contract, crystal clear, super transparent. The bot doesn't care how many times you go back and forth. It wants to find a good deal with you that makes everybody happy. So for us, we went in a little bit apprehensive and like had this moment where like, well, we have to have our data perfect before we go and talk to our suppliers. I think that was one of our first, the first things we probably got wrong was you don't have to have your data perfect. For us, one of the big learnings was it was better for us to go to the supplier and even in many cases allow them to fill out the data um, for us and then kind of go about it that way. So I think that was the thing, a, a big learning kind of of our initial launch to what we're doing right now is our data, your data doesn't have to be perfect on this one. You have to have it good enough to send it out. Uh, and you have to have, a, you know, I would say maybe 60 or 70% there, but you don't have to have it 100% of the way there. Um, and that was a big learning for us is now when we send these out, there are some, with some certain suppliers, we'll, we will literally be asking them, hey, what are our terms? And they'll put in, you know, whatever our terms are. And we'll say, like, great, can you make them better? <laughs> and then they will actually make them better. So it's a, an interesting process that way, with, depending on the supplier, um, you can get some of those things to happen, which again was kind of mind blowing for us uh, versus what we thought we were gonna get. What was surprising us when we went through it is again, just if you think about how we started it, we went after the tail suppliers. And so what we started to see through it was like, yes, we got the hard savings and I love every bit of that. But then also what we started to get is a, a larger conversation with some of these smaller niche suppliers around where they could actually help us impact growth more. So we started to kind of bring some of them, not all of them, but some of them closer to the limelight on our preferred supplier list that allowed us to kind of have new partners and new geographies where we might not have and those type of things. So what we began to realize quickly is that it, it became a tool for us to interact with our supply base at a different level where it wasn't just about, a big part of it was the hard savings, but it was also about like, hey, where can you help us? What gaps do you have? You know, are there specific regions that you service? Like you can put those questions in there where we began to, I think, learn a little more about those suppliers that we don't interact with heavily. I am probably one of the, be the best salespeople for Pactum out there just because of my experience. Um, I think that the advice for us, just the experience that Veritiv had with this one, is it probably fits many of your processes, it probably fits many of your businesses more than you might even expect it to. Um, for us, it was just about kind of starting, learning, fine tuning what, what is right for your individual business and then figuring out how to scale it quick. Um, and so that's the thing that if I could go back and make a change, um, it's probably, we probably stayed in beta too long and we could have gone quicker. You're right, by the way, on Pactum, I'm helping several companies explore how can I potentially use it, which is just 
great in terms of how research leads to research and opportunities. Would you tell us a little bit about Pactum? Yeah, so it's a it's it's a really cool young tech uh, company that um, um, the article that, uh, that you reference features one of the several use cases that they have, and the journey of adoption has progressed, including in Walmart, into other uh, into other use cases, and they are squarely focused on using AI to um, drive supplier interaction so that the buyer doesn't have to do it. So, um, and, and, but there is applications in logistics, uh, different industries, different markets. Uh, I'm helping several companies kind of think through how could that work for me? And so there's a lot more innovation to have there. It's really kind of cool.